Meanwhile, the European Union Election Observation Mission has presented its final report on this year's general elections to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, uh, disclosed this on its Twitter handle. The EU uh, mission was received by the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, and the national commissioners of uh, the electoral body. The EU ad in February reviewed in its report that lack of transparency in the conduct of the 2023 general elections deflated public trust in INEC. The election exposed enduring systemic weaknesses and therefore signal a need for further legal and operational reforms to enhance transparency, inclusiveness and accountability. The Electoral Act 2022 which had its first test in a general election in 2023 and other legal instruments evidenced gaps in terms of transparency, accountability and inclusivity and left room for uncertain implementation. March represented a significant improvement in terms of the use of the technology. And there are 93.5 million people registered to vote in this election, which betokens a massive appetite for democracy. As far as the commission is concerned, there were so many positives to this election. There were also significant challenges and problems with the election. We are going to address those, those uh, uh, challenges and those, and those problems. And if, there are, if we receive most of the reports from the domestic and international observers, we, are, we will harmonize them take out the actionable ones that have administrative flavor, we will implement them. If there are still challenges with the Electoral Act 2022 20, um, and the constitutional framework, we will also join Nigerians and go before the National Assembly to get both the constitutional and legal framework uh, amended. A witness has told the Lagos State's governorship election petition tribunal headed by Justice Aro Basham that Governor Babajide Sonwulu and his wife, Ibijoke, were allowed to cast their votes despite their voter cards being invalid. This testimony was given by an agent of the Labour Party, Dayo Israel, who was subpoenaed to testify in the petition filed by Madibor Rudvaiwa, the Labour Party's candidate, in the March 18th election, seeking to nullify the return of Governor Sonwulu and his deputy. While being led in evidence by Ruth Vivid's late counsel, SCN Olumide Ayeni, the witness told the court that he served as an agent for the Labour Party for Unit 006, Ward 15, Lagos Island Liga government in the governorship election. The witness also claimed he was beaten up that day by some All Progressives Congress supporters. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.